Hi again from the garden, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. This afternoon I am out here in the garden doing a project that quite honestly I should have done a few weeks ago. I have one patch of dahlias that I have not pinched yet. Better late than never, right? <laughs> and actually four of the plants that I need to pinch already have blooms on them. So it is definitely time. This will actually be kind of fun because they're beautiful blooms uh, and I will show you these when I get ready to cut these but these will be fun to actually have in some bouquets and then by cutting them and pinching these this will regenerate these plants to produce way more blooms. So there are two reasons that you want to pinch your dahlia plants. The first and main reason of course is that you get way more blooms if you pinch them because it encourages the plant to branch out and give you more stems. The second reason that you want to pinch your dahlias is because that first bloom that you usually get is on a really thick stem that a lot of times is hollow. And if you're growing your dahlias for cut flowers like I am and you cut that stem, a hollow stem is not going to absorb the water very good and the flower is not going to last very long. So you definitely don't want to give your customer a hollow stem. So in this video, I'm going to show you this patch of dahlias and how I'm pinching all these plants. And then I want to take you to another bed in my garden of dahlia plants that I pinched a couple weeks ago. And then yet another spot in the garden that I pinched a couple weeks before that. Um, but first, I'm going to lower the camera so I can show you guys the dahlias that are already blooming and how I'm going to cut those and pinch the rest of these. All right, so I am down in my dahlia patch and you can see I already have some beautiful blooms starting on these plants. I'll put a couple close-ups up on the screen, but this is the Cornell variety. And from what I have read and from my experience growing it last year, these are a really prolific bloomer. This year when I planted all of my dahlia plants and ordered the tubers, I really tried to pay attention to the kinds that I was ordering to make sure that I was ordering ones that had a really good height and were prolific bloomers because I want to be able to get as many dahlias for my cut flower bouquets as possible. So as you can see these are obviously blooming which is great but the stems on this one which let me go ahead and just cut this and show you the stem on this is only about four to five inches long. Now I could put this in a little bud vase and it would be really pretty, which is probably what I will do just inside my own house. But this is not a long enough stem to ever put in a market bouquet. So this would not be a sellable flower for me, which is why I should have pinched these a long time ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch these first two. Then I'm gonna zoom the camera in on the rest of these plants so that you can see exactly where I am cutting them but you want to go in pretty low. I'm going to go probably about 12 inches off the ground and you want to go at one of the intersections where your main stem is coming off and your side shoots are going out. So this is what I just cut off of that plant. Yes, I'm going to lose these three blooms, but this is going to tell this plant to branch out and create so many more blooms and side blooms and longer stems to grow up that I can actually use those for bouquets. And I will probably have to put a closer up picture on the screen of this too, but this stem is hollow. Um, some of them are a lot worse than this because they're a lot thicker, but this is hollow. So this would have a hard time soaking up the water. It would not last very long in a bouquet. So cutting the next one, I'm going to cut this whole top off. This one is hollow too. And sometimes you get stems so thick, it's almost like a broomstick, which is definitely not usable in a market bouquet. All right, I'm gonna move my camera in closer and show you guys exactly where I am cutting all of these plants. All right, so here is a look at these first two plants that are in my bed. And you can see this one actually has a really nice bud on it. This one has a smaller bud, but these stems are really thick and not usable. And even if I cut this down here, I would still never be able to put it in a vase. So if I open up this dahlia plant, you can see how thick the stem on the dahlia plant is. I'm going to cut it all the way down here. And we're going to get rid of this whole piece that is not usable. And now these are going to grow much larger and it's going to send off so many more side shoots. In fact, there's already one growing here and it's going to give much better stem length. Then this next one, 
I'm gonna go down to this next little intersection, if you wanna call it that. Can you see how that whole stem is completely hollow and thick? Now this whole plant is gonna branch out and be much thicker. And this is the one that we just cut. You can see that back here. Here's another one of the Cornell plants that has a really pretty bloom on it. But again, this stem is probably only about four inches long, so I would never be able to use that in a bouquet. So I'm gonna open this up and cut it right down here, which was hollow. And actually, there is some browning on that stem. I am not sure what that is. If anyone knows what this is, and if that means anything bad, comment down below. I can put this in a bud vase in my house, which I will. But now all of these four side stems are going to just bush out and produce so many more stems. So this one over here, I'll cut this off and that's gonna let that branch out. So here is a really good example of why you want to cut that center stem off. That is completely hollow and would never soak up hardly any water if you put it in a vase. One other thing I want to mention while I'm actually in here cutting these dahlias, some dahlia tubers will have multiple eyes and send up multiple growth points. I pinch all of the growth points that come out of the dahlia tuber. So right here, this is all one plant. So I'm going to pinch this stem, this stem, and this stem. And all three of these are completely hollow. And they all, right at that intersection where I cut them, they already all have side shoots coming up. Those are gonna grow really fast now that I have clipped these off because the energy is not going into forming these buds and flowers anymore. It's going into the growth of the plant. So these are gonna be set back probably a week or two from blooming, but it's gonna be really worth it in the long run. And like this one has one big stock coming up That is almost the size of a broom handle. Not only is it hollow, but it's really hard to work with. So that is a really good thing to get clipped off too. All right, so this entire patch is done. It does not take very long at all to pinch your dahlias back. I'm gonna take you over to another bed of dahlias that I have now that I pinched a couple weeks ago. And then I wanna show you the other one that I pinched even a couple weeks before that. So this is a dahlia patch that I pinched probably a couple weeks ago, and there is some really nice growth starting to come up on these plants already. From the site that I pinched them, I mean, there's some really good growth coming up, and I can see other multiple growth points branching right out of that same spot. So once you pinch them, they really do start rapidly producing some new growth, especially if you make sure to keep them very well watered, Dahlias are heavy feeders, and if you get rain. Now, one really good way to water your flowers if you don't have one is by getting a rain barrel because natural rainwater is so much better than any city water that may have some chlorine and other chemicals in it. So if you can get a rain barrel, I highly recommend it. You will also notice that this dahlia bed does not have any landscape fabric in it. Dahlias grow much better without landscape fabric, but to help suppress the weeds and keep the moisture in the ground, I have mulched them with wood chips. If you're mulching with wood chips, you also want to make sure that they are natural wood chips and not any mulch that has any dyes or chemicals in them. These natural wood chips will break down over time and somewhat create their own compost around the dahlia plants and that will help the soil be more healthy as well. Now these are some dahlias that I am growing in containers and these were pinched probably a week or so before the other ones and you can tell how much they're actually branching out compared to the other ones. At least I hope you can see. I know it's bright sun today so hopefully you guys can tell the difference on this. So these plants are all sending up multiple little branches and within this one narrow branch that's coming up, 
there are two more branches that are forming with two more little buds. And this one has multiple buds, this one has multiple buds, this one has multiple buds, and over here, there's a branch here, 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 and here. So you can see by pinching this plant, I have created at least eight other main stems that will produce blooms throughout the season. There are four dahlia plants when, within this one large whiskey barrel, and this is the Boom Boom Yellow variety. These were pinched when they were fairly short, um, probably a little sooner than I usually like to pinch plants, but I did that with this because they're in the whiskey barrel and a lot closer than normal. They're springing back really nice. In fact, there's buds here, there's new growth in a bud here, same here and here, and multiple buds on this plant as well. And I also have a pumpkin vine that's making his way into this plant. That needs to find a home also on the trellis behind it. But these are looking really good. And Boom Boom Yellow is a really prolific bloomer, a pale yellow color, really pretty. I can't wait to see how these grow throughout the season. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I pitch my dahlias. It is a really, really good thing to do if you are growing dahlias specifically for cut flowers. I cannot wait to see how all of my varieties grow this season. I have probably about 70 to 75 dahlia plants planted, and most of them are all different varieties. I wanna really try out a lot of different varieties this year, see which ones work best for me, and then next year I will narrow down the varieties and grow specifically those ones that produce well for me and in my area. So this is a really good experimental year with growing those dahlias, and I will make sure to share with you guys how they grow through the season and which ones I like best. I will also link at the end of this video my dahlia unboxing video so that you guys can see all the varieties that I'm growing in my garden this year. So anyway, stay tuned of course for a lot more cut flower growing throughout the season. We'll see you soon.